I said I needed to do like a whole life update. Kind of struggling a lot with just like mental health. Ew. Uh, yum. Blue dress. Oh, so rainy. Regent Street. I thought that was like obvious. <laughs> Facebook mom angle. Let me fill you in on the Brandy Melville tea. To wait for the police to come and then yelling and like throwing a fit. Daddy, I want a squirrel. Do you think I'm a spoiled brat? Yeah. These are the sunglasses that I want. I'm fabulous. I just woke up. Oh, no. Fuck it up. Get face card. Good morning, guys. I just woke up and I got my journaling done because I skipped yesterday. Lately, I've been journaling every morning or like trying to. My hair looks <laughs> like a little rat's tail. But today is going to be a super fun day because I'm doing a girl's day out in Bath with my mom. Uh, yesterday, we hit up Vista Village. I should have vlogged yesterday, but I hadn't charged my camera. So I made sure to leave it on charge so that all day today I could vlog as well as Saturday. Today's Thursday, by the way. Friday's gonna be a little bit of a boring day. Well, I'm gonna start getting ready whilst I talk because we actually don't have much time. Yeah, so Saturday, I'm gonna do London. If you catch up with me on my like TikTok and like Instagram, then you'd know I was in Miami for like the past month. I know I said I needed to do like a whole life update. I mean, when I originally went out there like mid-January, I really only intended to stay for like a week. Why is this out of focus? focus yeah i did not expect to be staying so long i've just been getting back like on my health grind the first few weeks of being out there i was still kind of struggling a lot with just like mental health Ew. I just get uncomfortable like talking about depression. I mean, I guess not to self-diagnose, but I really did go through a little depression. And that's honestly like why I didn't post for a little. Like everyday normal tasks were just so difficult to do. I like get uncomfortable talking about it just because I used to very much be the type of person where, no, not that I like don't believe in depression. I definitely know it's real. I'm aware of like depression and how like affects a lot of people. I guess I've just always had a very like harsh mindset towards it in the sense of like also very much the type of person where like if you're unhappy with your life or if there's something, if you're going through something like I'm very much the type of person where I'm like, okay, well you have the power to change that. Like you have the power to fix your problems. Like it's your life. Like you can really do whatever you need to to change that. Oh my God, I look insane. However, I guess now I just like, I'm a lot more empathetic for people who go through things. I was like really in a little depression mode. Like the things I used to do that felt so easy, simply getting up and like having a semi-productive day, going on a walk, like just normal things. It felt like it took everything in me to do. I don't know if you guys have ever felt like that or can relate with that. I was really struggling with that and hating myself for it because because I am the type of person that's so harsh on myself, not empathetic to my feelings sometimes or other people's. And I think maybe that's why I needed to go through this because now I'm definitely more empathetic person. But yeah, that is a little life update I'll give you guys at the moment. Um, I am back in England only for a couple more weeks. Don't a little bit of traveling i'm going to visit my best friend regina oh well i don't need to give a whole like life update otherwise we'll be here forever but getting back to posting like on tiktok at least i've been posting my like what i eat in a day is some day in the life so i'm gonna go finish up getting ready put a little bit of makeup on see me when they look slightly more presentable <laughs> all right okay, my makeup's on uh put on jeans and a t-shirt today is a cute ralph lauren socks and platform mini uggs today I honestly don't know what to do about my insane hair today. It's like That's kind of cute We're here in Bath. Look how cute it is. We're about to go get a cup of coffee. This little dog ball is the cutest thing He's And can I do a cappuccino please with honey and cinnamon? Thank you Right before I left, I ended up having a little meltdown about my outfit and my look. So I did the braids. Guys, I also just recently got this jacket from Ralph Lauren. Yeah. And then jeans. I just got from Abercrombie. These little shoes. I just know. I haven't taken her out in a long time. It was time for a little field trip. Cheers. How pretty. I love bath. The menu looks so good. It's so cute in here. A little vibe. It's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Ah, uh, yum, the food's here. We had some bread and butter before. Phenomenal. It's the duck breast with purple sprouted broccoli. Ooh. For my same talk. Broccoli. This is so good. Wow, I inhaled that. Guys, I'm in Portman, which is my favorite little boutique here in Bath. Look how cute this is. Oh. 
love like this with some gold jewelry I'm trying on some other stuff too just look how classy it's so soft i love this stuff here this one's also really cute i'm wearing a black bra underneath i like this one a lot okay i'm in love with this one it's like the other one but in like a more neutral tone this is such a nice color my mom's holding the blue cardigan oh it's so soft it's summertime Guys, they said they want to name this one after me. I'm, gonna, I'm like a great customer. Since when? I discovered this place in Bath in October. Been obsessed ever since. My timeline mom with it. After like an hour in Portman, we just did some serious damage. So doing? sweet. Guys, look, they gave me a ring. Oh my god, guys, I took a break from vlogging for a second. Because I'm in Hollister. We're trying on so many cute things. I'm going to Mexico next month. On a girls trip with Anna and like all the bad biddies. Looking at this bikini. Guys, look how cute this bikini is. I really need to do a haul. Look at this cover up. I love so cute. Mom really loved this bikini on me. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Ew, ew. Stop, stop. I missed you. I haven't missed that. I have not missed that. This is so cute. So, very cute little simple white linen shorts. This bodysuit. How cute this is. This blue dress. <laughs> the mule is muling. <laughs> Saturday. My hair is styled. Cute. And I also just plucked my eyebrows. Okay, I can see I missed a few hairs here. I don't know if I did them too thin, but I like them thin, so. I'm currently watching this video for some inspo. Kind of trying to do this, like, underpainting thing, but... I guess we'll see how well this turns out. You guys kind of see how it kind of like snowed a little bit up there? Not really. Oh, okay. Well, it did. So I'm going over to Ralph's to go get coffee. And I just want to get a cute Instagram picture. Today we have Cozy Co, Cozy Cardi, Cozy B. and Uggs. Because it's so rainy, you can barely even see out the window. How cute. Bus stop Ralph's. I got a cappuccino and I brought my own honey to add in it. Unfortunately, they don't have cinnamon. It's a Saturday, so it's busy today, but at least it's not Christmas time busy because London and Christmas time, you can't walk. Regent Street. We came to this like Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Mom, I'm filming. Got the duck salad and then my mom got this fish and chips that I will definitely be stealing from. Okay, now I want this one. I'm, I, I, okay, I, I, I'll have this one then. I came out so fast too. Which was good because you're hungry. I know. I was worried it would take ages. Crispy duck salad. Guys, I am not kidding. That was the best fish and chips I've ever had. I literally ate half of my mom's fish and chips. I'm like so full, but I just forgot that we have dessert coming too. But it's the sticky toffee pudding. And honestly, no matter how full I am, I will always have room for some sticky toffee pudding, especially if it's the Gordon Ramsay's. Oh my God, guys, look at this, film this. Uh, oh my God. Oh my god, it's better than I remembered it. Have a bite. Okay, literally not even two minutes later. Absolutely devoured. That lunch was fabulous. We just popped into Hollister. I pretty much bought everything I liked though yeah. when I was in Bath the other day. So, off to Brandy. The Brandy Marvel in London is honestly the best. The Paris one was cute. The Paris one was cute, but I think I think just the shopping in London in general is so much better than even like America, like big cities even like Miami, LA. You'd think that they'd be good for shopping, but it's all just like designer. Yeah, England's so much cheaper. I remember we used to go shopping in America because we'd be like, oh, everything's so much cheaper. And we'd come back with extra suitcases. We, yeah, and now it's the complete opposite now. When I'm in London, like... You shop. I shop. And Bobby comes home and she shops and takes it back. Or I'd even send things over to her. Really? Yeah. Crazy. You never really sent anything over to me. Do I look ugly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was like obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had one of those weird filters on, like, you just stop. No, that's just your face. Oh, oh my god, no, don't. Like <laughs> you wonder how I feel. I have to look at you. I don't want to now. <laughs> I'm scared. It was God. <laughs> oh, it was the angle. It's called the 40 year old oh, Facebook mom angle. I'm in Brandy Marvel. It's been crazy in here, so the police have to come. Crazy things. Anyway. Look how cute. Hi. Just picked up my Joe and the Juice. Looks okay. Oh, do I look like. Yeah. I'm beautiful now. I've ugly before. Okay. Here at the Joe and the Juice matcha. This is my favorite thing. 
Let me fill you in on the Brandy Melville tea. We got there. They closed the doors. No one could leave. No one could come in. Because there was a girl. Stole on someone's phone in the shop. And then got into like a physical fight with her. We had to wait for the police to come. And they're yelling and like throwing a fit. And she lit a cigarette. But she lit a cigarette in inside the shop. The shop. It's crazy. Anyway. I got a bunch of really cute stuff from Brandy. I need to do a haul soon. Because this whole like vlog has been me shopping. Yeah. I need to do a vlog. I mean a haul. We're in a taxi on our way to Harrods. Because there's this one purchase that I've been wanting for months. A pair of sunnies. They're so cute. So, I want them. Mm -hmm. I want some sunny sunglasses. Daddy, I want a squirrel. Daddy, I want a squirrel. That's definitely you. Daddy, I want a squirrel. Do you think I'm a spoiled brat? Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I am very spoiled. My mum just bought me a bunch of stuff from Brandy Melville. She treats me every time I come back. But it is because you do, you buy Bobby stuff and then ship it to her too. So I need that same treatment. It's only fair. And then we also shopped around in Subdued. Oh, look. Some what yeah. tourist attraction is this? Is this Trafalgar Square? We're so uncultured Brits. I can never remember. You know I love a London boy. I fancy you. Ooh. Lovely. Can I? No. Just, oh, my arms are getting tired. Do you think I should date a London boy? I don't think you should date anyone at the moment. I don't know, you've been quite good at being you know what? single I think for I a while. To, I, I know, I've been single for so long. I've decided though, I'm gonna start going for looks. I think that's my new revelation. That would be new, that would be I'm done going for personality. I don't want to hear them talk anyway. <laughs> Feed me, pay for it, and leave me alone. That's all I want. Today is the first time I'm wearing my Tiffany bracelet that I got myself on my birthday. How cute. Don't you love? Mm -hmm. Pretty, so dainty. Look where we are! Been so long. Okay, these are the sunglasses that I want. They're like kind of a different shape than I usually go for. I usually go for like a cat eye, but I really like these. I love the side. I think they look cute up here like this too. I've been wanting these for so long and I think I'm gonna get them. I'm so excited. I got the sunglasses. And now time to go to the food court. My favorite. Look how gorgeous this produce looks. I'm definitely gonna get some of those apple tomatoes. Love the butchery part. That's Harrods food court. Spend like a year in here. In Wagyu steak sandwich. Guys, I'm home and look how delicious my Nietzsche cereal looks. Oh my gosh, this looks fantabulous. Eating this and watching this YouTuber. I think the channel's called Rotten Mango. So good, she does really good story times. New obsession. Good morning, guys. I definitely can tell I'm getting a little sick now. You can just hear it in my voice. I feel like you could hear it in my voice the past few days, but I like had a stuffy nose all night. It's 9.30. I just woke up, brushed my teeth, washed my face. I put on some skincare. I had such a fun day yesterday in London and I always run into some of you guys. Shout out to the girls that I met in Brandy Novel. It absolutely made my day. Yeah, it's Sunday today. I hate my voice right now. Oh my God, I'm giving myself the ick. You guys know what I want. I want a Sunday roast. I need a Sunday roast. Mom, can we get a Sunday roast today? Why don't you want to eat a Sunday roast with me? I just woke up. Just bought these little Sephora eye masks. Do you love me? I love you, yeah. Just wondering. Cute. What time will you be home? Um, about three-ish. He needs to stop scratching at the door like that. You want to say hi? Come here. Jump. Don't look off my skincare, it's expensive. Oh no, off your chart then. Love you. Love you. Bye. Cute. Okay, I am definitely getting sick. I'm just like, like I can't breathe properly out of my nose. Like, not cute. Anyway, I just in fact journaled. Oh, I'm not gonna show you everything. But I journaled. So FaceTimed my friend Sammy and gave her like an entire haul of everything I bought recently. So messy, but it's just all on the floor. Honestly, I wanted to give you guys a little haul right now, but I think you guys would appreciate a try on haul instead, like in a separate video. If I give you a haul right now, I'm just gonna hold up the stuff and show you. I'm not gonna try it on. I think you guys like more when I try it on. So I'm gonna save that haul. Also, who knows? What if I buy something else in a couple days? I shouldn't. I won't let myself. I'm not sure exactly when I'm posting this, but today's Sunday, 3rd of March. I leave England a week from today. I know I don't stay in England for long. It's a problem, but basically Regina, we all know my best friend Regina, her boyfriend, he lives in like 
Turkey or Russia. She's always traveling like to Russia and Turkey and everything. She really wants me to go visit her. I'm so excited. Next Sunday, I'm going to Bodrum, Turkey to go visit my bestie, Regina. Fuck it up. I'll definitely do some TikTok vlogs, so follow me on TikTok. Hopefully, I'll get a little YouTube vlog out of that too. I'm only gonna be there for a few days. And then I'm going to New York to visit my sister. And then after New York, I'm going to LA and then Mexico. And then there's a lot going on. I got a That's probably not good for me. So freaking excited for these sunglasses. I've wanted these since October of last year. At least a good six months. I'm gonna sound like such a spoiled brat. I know I've always said that my mom doesn't like buy me stuff and my parents don't give me money, which is really like true most of the time. Honestly, this week I've been home. My mom's spoiled me. I don't know why. I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna go with it. These sunglasses were a late birthday present. Basically for my 21st birthday, uh, I was really indecisive on what I wanted. I couldn't decide whether I wanted like a Chanel pair of ballet flats or if I wanted something else. I, I just had no idea. So my mom was basically like, okay, well, when you figure out what you want for your birthday, just let me know. And after a lot of thinking, I finally decided these Celine sunnies. So yeah, these are a late 21st birthday present. However, my mom did spoil me, she bought me all the brandy stuff. And then she bought me a couple things from Hollister the other day as well. I like that you can still see my eyebrows and they also look really good when they're just like sat on your head <laughs> Obsessed. I thought long and hard about these. My mom's at work right now. She gets back in a couple hours I kind of want to go film a video like a makeup tutorial <sighs> I'm really wanting a roast dinner. So maybe I'll call my mom and tell her mom like I'll film a makeup tutorial video But I don't want to waste my makeup after that like I feel like that means we need to go somewhere and like do something So why don't we go out to a nice roast dinner? Also, I've been craving a roast dinner so bad when I was away I haven't had a roast dinner since I think like Christmas and I leave next Sunday So I won't have time to get one. I don't care what happens. I'm convincing my mom for us to go get a Sunday roast oh My god guys, so I just filmed this makeup tutorial and <coughs> I got like progressively sick whilst I was filming and now my nose is like running like crazy and I can't stop coughing. I'm not doing well. Fuck. I hate being sick. It's taking everything in me to not cough. <coughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. Stay tuned for my makeup tutorial on how to give face card even when you're sick. My go-to glam. And stay tuned for my haul. I love you guys.